Ooh, I love the purple and then the blue. Yes, I can't believe I found that for a dollar. All right, so today I am back at the Habitat for Humanity, the Restore. Um, there's no sale going on, but make sure you watch all the way to the end of this video. Let's get inside and see what we can find to resell on eBay. All right, today is Thursday, and they usually have a sale on Wednesdays, 20% off, but we can find something in here. Got my lucky cart. Now let's take a look at this teapot. It's marked USA. It looks like it has some age. Say 1950s or 60s. It has a nice flower for six dollars. I'm not sure about that. I do like it though. There's a chip there. Now, what about this one? It's a nice gold author wood. I'm not sure. Made in England. Let me just see how much this is. Oh, ten dollars. I'm going to leave that for that price. Let's go. Ooh. What do we have here? A set of, set of eight glasses for 75 Oh, those are different. I'm not sure about $75, though. We have a Waterford bowl. I don't know the pattern. So something like this for $45, you'd have to look up the pattern. You could just use the Google Lens. Of a crystal pitcher back there. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Pink luster porcelain tea set. Is that Santa? It is. <laughs> He's delivering all the toys on a hot air balloon. That's kind of cool. I like the pink. That'd be good for like a child's tea set. That's what it kind of looks like. I think I see a pottery piece. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, and it's signed on the bottom. I think that says Cook 1986. How much is that? It's only a dollar. That's definitely going in the cart. Ooh, I love the purple and then the blue. Yes, I can't believe I found that for a dollar. <laughs> we have uh, more pottery. These look like glasses for $4. They're signed. I believe that's a signature. Let me take a look at the other one. I don't know what that is. Is it a signature or just... Oh, for $4, I think I might get it. Yeah, I made a decision. I'm just going to get these two. <laughs> a lot of people like those earth tones. So I think it's worth more than $4. I want to take a look at this. It looks like it might have, a, may have had a top. Audrey's... I'm not sure about that. Six dollars. We have this picture. <laughs> 1982. Um, Temptations. What are these? Grinders? Or, um, I'm not sure. Hmm. Those are three dollars each. Ooh, look at these two ladies. All oh, their candlesticks for eight dollars. Oh, that's um, the false graph. Ooh, I think these might be worth picking up. I'm going to do a little bit of research before I spend $8 each on them. All right, well, I'm surprised they only sell for about 35 for the pair. So I'm not going to spend 16 to make 35 And it might be something that takes a while to sell. Um, this setup here is a... Uh, what was it? Mikasa. I can't remember the pattern. I would have to look it up again. But this bowl sells for $35. i am not sure about the small one. It's $40, so I might get that when it's on sale. 20% off. So it's got to stay here for now. <laughs> Down here we have some Ray Dunn. $5. Uh, this is a little bit newer. And that canister is $15 and $5. I see some blue willow. Um, let's see what it says on the bottom. Al Alderton's England willow. Three dollars. Oh, they got a chip there. <laughs> Sometimes pieces like this is okay to pick up with a chip. 
especially the flow blue certain companies. Yeah, I just looked it up. A lot of people have the creamer and sugar listed. What about these? It kind of looks like it has a Art Deco look. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, creamer and sugar. Duh. <laughs> Let's see if they lower the price on that. No. <laughs> we have these plates here. Design pack. All right. That's pretty, it's different. Fine Bone China flower basket for a dollar. Does that belong to that? I believe it does. Oh, we have all these fruit. Crystal? Uh, Studio Crystal China. All right. All right, let's take a peek through here and see if there's any Lucite candles. I don't see any so far. No. These look like they're homemade, though. Let's smell it. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> still have all these salt and pepper shakers. Still a little bit too much. Oh, let's take a look at that again. Made in Japan. I'm trying to figure out what that is. Every time I see this, it reminds me of chocolate. <laughs> so I'm going to call it the chocolate salt and pepper shakers. Not for $4, though. All right, nothing in there. That's the Norman Rockwell plates. They don't really sell too well. Here's this beautiful Asian lady. Oh, she's light, lighter than what I thought. Oh, what does that say in the bottom? Made in Taiwan, Republic of China. $3. I wish I had a man with it. I think they're supposed to be a pair. Not quite sure. Oh, look at this lighthouse. It's a clock. It's a working clock for five dollars. All right, let's take a look through some bags. Ooh, this one. This almost feels like real leather. Let's see who made it. Uh, DKNY. That's not a bad brand. I wonder if that is real leather. For two dollars, I'll put that in. What is that, a uh, crossbody bag? I believe so. Anything else in here? This is kind of funky. I think I looked at it before. Oh, it's a lunchbox. <laughs> Sack roots. I have a makeup bag. Let's see if that's Whiting and Davis. Valerie Stevens. Oh, I looked that up last time. All right. Nothing else. It's kind of cool. Frill. All right, I am not seeing anything else. We're gonna, I'm gonna head over to Salvation Army, but this is everything we're getting. I can't believe I found this. Oh my gosh, <laughs> for that price. And then these, and then the purse. Okay, let me go check out. All right, I made it to Salvation Army, five o'clock traffic. I think it's great that they have 50% off for senior citizens. Now let's start over here. They have a cool car. Oh, what does that say? I know some of these cars can sell well. That's only $2. It's plastic. <laughs> it looks like um, porcelain from here. All right. Oh, look how cute that is. Cool um, dog mug. Certified International. That looks a little bit newer. That's Pottery Barn for $2. What are the colors today? Blue and green are half off, and yellow is $1.49. So we're going to find all of the yellow tags. <laughs> oh, these are pretty. Totally today. <laughs> oh, look at that pumpkin looking, pumpkin looking dish. <laughs> For a minute, I thought it was plastic. Let's take a look at the bottom. It looks like a hobbyist. Yeah, most likely. 
whenever I see these type of colors, it reminds me of the 80s or early 90s. It's a planter. FTD. I hear some Lennox. Um, Snow Light. It's a tea light holder for $2. I say that's like a $8 or $10 sale. There's a pitcher. I don't think it's Franciscan. Kind of looks like it'd be California pottery, though. Hmm. Kind of looks like um, Metlock. Is that what it's called, Metlocks? I'm going to leave it. This canister down here. Apples on it. Crock Shop Santa. <laughs> Oh, speaking of Santa. <laughs> that looks a little bit different. Almost almost has like a folk art look. Let's see what these are. Made in China. This creamer looks a little different. I think it may be Otagiri. A little trinket. That's pretty with the roses. For two dollars. I keep finding these one-serve teapots everywhere. <laughs> it's another one. Let's see what it says. Ah, oh, 1800 baskets. I almost want one for myself. All right, I came back for the um, Otagiri cat. I don't see it anymore. That's gone. I should have just put it right on the cart. These are kind of cool. Ah, oh, they're plastic. The Mal Malino, New York. It's kind of hard to see. Those are kind of neat. They totally look like they'd be ceramic. All right, nothing over here. All right, let's take a look at this turquoise. Whoops, ceramic teapot. Let me take a look at the inside. Oh, that is for tea or coffee. See, I keep finding these things everywhere, so... I'm gonna get that for two dollars. <laughs> First item. Here's a cool mug. <laughs> Another um sarcastic pig. <laughs> yeah, might as well take a look through the mugs. I don't see anything up here. I do you see this pitcher? Gray's pottery hand painted. Is that chipping or is that paint? That's a chip. From one ninety nine. Hmm. Ooh, look at these. Nippon. Um, Dorataki. Oh, and it comes with the saucers. All right. So I was just seeing which cup fits which saucer. I think it's a small one. It's the same. Oh, look at the design on that. I don't think it matches though. And this is too big. Yeah, I don't think that fits on there. Or maybe it does. I don't know, am I crazy? That fits. Alright, I'm gonna leave it. There's chips and discoloration. <laughs> oh, look at these cool mugs. It looks like dried milk. <laughs> or um, whipped cream. I'm not sure who made them. Looks kind of cool though, if this side does. Ooh, take a look at that lamp. Ooh, and that one. How much is that? $6.99, that's $24, but it comes with a shade. I'll say 1940s to the 60s. I'm looking for um, the double globe Gone with the Wind lamp. Red satin. They are very expensive on eBay. I want one for myself. Some Christmas. Just skimming through this aisle. All right, so I did a little research on these ornaments. Um, it's only two dollars, and it sells for about twenty to thirty-five. So I'm gonna put those in. That's pretty with the gold and the glitter and the pearls. 
points calculator. I wonder if that's for Weight Watchers. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it's only one dollar. I'll put that in. It's brand new. Maybe we have a Studio Nova crystal. Some napkin rings. Hm. I'm trying to see if they're sterling. I don't think they are. Some fruit. I'm surprised they haven't spoiled yet. <laughs> Have mercy. So, Showerhead International Silver Company. That looks pretty. For $6.99. Photos. What is that? Irish collectibles. You get four of them, or... Hmm, let's take a peek inside. Alright, it looks like it's just one of them. So this would be a dollar forty-nine. Even though it's made in China, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get it. Beer can chicken roaster from Price Chopper. It came right with a tag. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that. Oh wow, look at this. It's most likely um, Noritake. Nortaki, hand painted. Love, look how pretty that is. I love the luster. Please don't be any chips. I don't see any, and I'm gonna take that tape off to look at the lid. Look at the scene, though. I love the floral design on it, also. Let me open that up. All right, I don't see any damage, so I'm gonna get that. And how much is it? $1.99. Put that in. I wish I had the creamer with it, but I'm all right with that. Not these glasses. Oh, they're plastic. <laughs> Cloudy plastic. Oh, here's a latch hook rug. What is that, Santa? <laughs> if you ever find the kits, um, pick those up because they'll sell pretty well. Especially certain um, brands. Let me fix that so everybody can see it. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so I found this backpack. I can't tell if it's real leather, but it has like a southwestern native look. Um, there's no name inside, and it looks like it's handmade. Let me show you the inside, if I can open it up. Yeah, there's the inside. I think it might be real leather. I think My Michael um, knows a little bit more about it. I don't see any damage. I actually don't think it's real leather. This kind of feels like plastic. You know how the fake leather has that plastic feeling? All right, I'm gonna leave it. All right, I am not seeing anything else. This is everything we're getting. The teapot, the Weight Watchers calculator, the Rachel ornaments, this beautiful sugar and the Irish collectibles. Let's go check out. All right, so my total spend was $11 at the ReStore and $9 at Salvation Army. And I can't believe I found this for $1. I'm still researching it. I don't know who the artist is. And I can't believe I found this pottery. I'm still not sure who made that either. At first I thought it was Anderson Design, but it kind of just looks like a scribble to me. <laughs> I don't know, but I paid $4 each for it. I'm all right with it. All right, so I'm going to go home and try to list some of these items. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everybody next time. Bye.